Hello everyone, and so this week we're going to create an online app. So in our previous labs, we already have the data that we uh, collected from the gun violence archive and also sensors. Uh, so we created a map that in ArcGIS Pro, we also uploaded the data to ArcGIS Online where we created an online map. So today we're going to create an online app. Uh, specifically, we're going to create a dashboard uh, on ArcGIS Pro or ArcGIS Online. Uh, so first, let's log into ArcGIS Online. And so if you're using your organiza organization account, uh, you may want to use your login with your organization account. Uh, so I'm going to use my GMU account. Uh, so once we log in and we go to, we can go to our content. Uh, so this is where you can see all the data that you uploaded uh, and also uh, created. So for example, uh, this is a data that we uh, uploaded in our uh, previous lab. And then from the data, we created an online map. And with this map, we created a very simple app. So, so today, we're going to create another app, which is a little bit more uh, complicated. Uh, which is called a uh, dashboard. So let's go to create app. So here you can see you can choose different type of apps. So I think the most popular ones are the story maps, which you can create a story map. You can also create a dashboard. Uh, you can also uh, choose the other type of the apps. So I'm going to choose the dashboard. And we need to give a name for the dashboard. Uh, so for example, I will just call it lab 12. Uh, if you want to add a text, uh, you can do that. Let's say mass shooting. And so this lab 12 uh, dashboard. Uh, you can decide which folder you want to save uh, uh, your dashboard. So I'm going to keep everything in the same folder. Uh, and then I go ahead and also create my dashboard. Uh, so now, so this is our dashboard. So uh, we can add elements here. Uh, we can look at the views. So right now we're uh, looking at the dashboard uh, as a desktop. Uh, later, you can also add uh, the view for so that the layout will be optimized uh, for mobile devices. You can also add different elements here. So for example, you can add uh, in the body elements. You can add maps, uh, etc. Uh, you can add header. You can add a sidebar. We also have the settings. Uh, we all can also change the colors, um, etc. So let's go ahead to add our map. So let's choose a map first. And the map is, uh, is the online map that we created in lab 11, so in the previous lab. Uh, so now you can see those are all the maps that uh, in my uh, uh, content. So if I go to my uh, previous folder, so you can see my lab 11. Uh, so I'm going to add this map. Uh, so you can see do we want the scale bar. So let's say we want a scale bar. Um, we also want to show the legend. Uh, we also want to show the directions, uh, campus. Uh, we do not want to enable search. So because if you enable search, so they may cost additional credits. Um, you can also look at the other uh, settings, for example, uh, title, uh, description, uh, actions, uh, etc. So uh, I will leave everything else as default. So just make sure that we have a scale bar, uh, we have the legend, we have the campus, and we don't want the search. All right, so I'm going to click down. And now you can see uh, my map is now on my dashboard. So that's a map that we created in the previous lab. Uh, you can look, see the legend is right here. Uh, we also have this directions, uh, north arrow. Uh, we also have the scale bar, which is dynamic. So if you zoom in, zoom out, the scale bar will also change. All right, uh, so let's save the dashboard. OK, so now the dashboard has been saved. Uh, so let's go back to the view uh, where, let's say, we are going to add additional elements. So let's say we want to add a header. So let's add a header. Uh, so in the header, so this is where you can provide the titles, uh, descriptions, 
uh, and also some decorations uh, for your dash lab, uh, for your dashboard. So for example, I'm going to call this one shooting in Virginia. And I'm going to add a subtitle. So this is our GOG uh, Lab 12. And something that is very uh, nice is that you can also add a logos. Uh, so for example, I'm going to add a GMU logo. So I'm, I'm going to copy this uh, image URL. And I will paste that one. Uh, you can choose a large logo. So now you can see this the GMU logo. And you can also give it a label, so GMU, and also URL, so HTTPS. Uh, so I'm going to type the GMU website. Uh, of course, you can put your uh, the website of your company, uh, etc. Um, you can also provide the background image, just as uh, the logo. Uh, you can also give it menu links. So right now, we only have the sign out. But you can provide additional links. Uh, so for example, I'm going to provide the link for our data set. So I'm going to copy the Gong Balance Archive. So that is where we uh, get the data. So I'm going to provide this one uh, in the dashboard. And now I click down. Uh, so now you can see we have this dashboard. And if people click this logo, so they will be directed to the GME website. Uh, if they click this uh, menu, and uh, you can see this is the Gun Violence Archive. All right, it uh, looks like I uh, didn't provide the, the right uh, label for the uh, for this uh, URL. So I'm going to go back to the header, where I can just configure and the menu links. So the label, uh, I'm going to copy the word so instead of the URL. So that is Gun Violence Archive. OK, click down. OK, so now it looks great. So uh, I've just provided the URL of this data source uh, in, the, in the header. All right. Um, uh, you can, of course, change colors, uh, etc. So for example, uh, let's go to settings. Uh, you can see, do you want your elements to be resized? Let's say years. Uh, do you also want the dashboard to be reset, uh, let's say yes. So if you allow the reset, and you can see we have this button. Um, you can also choose colors, like if you want a darker or light, uh, and also you can choose the other colors. Uh, so let's keep saving our dashboard. OK, so now we have the header, and we have our uh, mapped body. So let's say we want to add uh, the other elements. So for example, let's go to the view. And let's go to the body. So in the body, we can add the, the other elements. So for example, we can add uh, map legend, uh, bar chart, pie chart. Uh, just remember that in date visualization, pie chart is not recommended. Uh, we can also give the indicator uh, and also like list tables. Uh, and also we can also provide the text. Uh, and also you can also even have embedded content. All right, uh, so let's say we want to give a pie chart, uh, sorry, uh, a bar chart. Uh, they call it a series chart. So uh, you need to tell uh, ArcGIS Online so which uh, data set or which layer provide the data. So I'm going to show the population data. So uh, in this bar chart, so I will choose the county population. And then I want the values that are based on the uh, features. Uh, you can also define the filters, so I don't want to. I don't need a filter. Uh, so here, uh, categories. So I want to show the a name for all the counties, and uh, for the values, uh, I want to show the population. So that's total population. And I also want to sort the value. So I want to sort values based on the total population. I want to use a descending order. Um, and also, I want to limit the result because you can see we have too many counties. So probably, I just want to show the top 10 uh, counties, Okay, and which I think uh, looks nice. 
And let's go through the other uh, options. So like uh, you can also choose the text color. I think the, you can also choose the, the size. I think 12 probably is better. Uh, I want this one to be horizontal because I want to put this one on the right side of the of the map. So I put that as horizontal. And we can also give it uh, labels. So for the category, I will call it county name. OK, uh, you can also define uh, the colors of the labels, uh, et cetera. Uh, for the values, uh, I will call it uh, population or total uh, population. OK, uh, you can also have uh, you, you also have the other options. Uh, for example, change the size, colors, uh, et cetera. Uh, you can also change the colors uh, for those bars. So if I go to the series uh, for the colors, uh, because uh, on my map, the population is kind of purple. So I want to use a consistent color. So I will use a dark purple. Uh, so I will try my best to match uh, the color on my map. OK, so uh, I will choose purple for the, color, uh, for the colors. Uh, I click down. So now I have this uh, uh, bar chart. OK, uh, looks like my population is more like gray. So uh, I want to go back and uh, change the color uh, one more time. So it's more like grayish. So I'm going to choose it more gray. OK, so now that looks similar to my map. So uh, I want the colors to be consistent. So uh, if I use gray, purple for the population, and then on my map and not for my bar chart, I will use the same color. Uh, we can also change the location. So for example, I want to put that on my left side, on the, on the right side, which I can do that, and I can resize uh, the bar chart, etc. All right, uh, so let's also add uh, the other elements. So let's see. Uh, so this time we're going to add a gauge. Uh, so it's like a donut chart, so we are we want to show the total number of people being injured, and also total number of people being killed. So we are going to use two gauges. So let's add our first one, and again you need to choose uh, which layer contains the data. So the data that contains uh, uh, total injuries and also total people being um, killed is in this mass shooting layer. All right. And uh, so you can choose here. Uh, I'm using the statistics. So because I want to choose the total of the people that have been killed. And uh, for the maximum values, I also want uh, the total uh, of the people that have uh, been killed. OK, so you can see in total, there were 36 people being killed in Virginia because of mass shooting. Uh, in last year. Uh, we can also change uh, the other uh, information. Uh, so for example, if you want to use a circular or uh, half donut, uh, you can choose that. Uh, you can also change uh, the appearance, uh, text message, etc. OK, so for example, I want to change the color, uh, where the color is in the band. Uh, so here I'm going to use, uh, let's say, I, I want to use a red color uh, to show the, the number of people being killed. And also in the general, so I want to give it a title. Uh, you can also give it a description. So here I will call uh, the sum of the victims that are uh, being killed. And I can put that uh, in the middle. OK. Um, so that, that is my first gauge that shows the total of the people being killed. And I click down, so uh, we can always resize. Uh, so let's go ahead and also add another gauge to show the, the total number of people being injured. Uh, so remember that on the map, I use orange uh, for the number of people being injured. So I'm going to use the same color, so gauge. Uh, we choose a layer that contains the data, which is a mass routine layer. Uh, so we're going to see the total of the people being injured. And for the maximum values, uh, we're going to use 
the same thing, so that is the total of the people being uh, injured. And then we go to gauge, uh, we choose the colors. Uh, for the colors, uh, I, I use orange uh, on my map, so I'm going to use uh, a little bit orange-ish for, uh, for this um, uh, gauge. And for the titles, uh, so I will use uh, the title that is some of the, of the victims that have been injured. So I'm going to use change the, the font a little bit. All right, so that is my second gauge. Uh, I want to uh, put this one uh, beneath my first gauge. OK, um, so that is uh, our uh, uh, second our second chart and also our third chart. So right now we have a map. Uh, we have two charts. Uh, we can also add. Uh, a uh, text message. So for example, let's go to element. Uh, we can add rich text. Uh, so here we can, for example, we can type a very short description of our dashboard. So um, the things that we find out uh, through our dashboard and also our data resource um, and also uh, uh, our uh, user information. So so for example, from this map or the dashboard or the on dashboard, we can see that uh, counties with high population uh, we all have more people being injured more injuries okay so uh, okay so that kind of is a description of our uh, uh, of our uh, interpretation of this dashboard um, I don't know why I cannot start a new line. Okay. Uh, date, source. So you can type that is gone. Violence. Archive. And remember, this is a, a rich text editor. So you can change the font. Uh, you can also add URLs, uh, etc. Uh, we can also add uh, the author information. Okay, so for example, you can change the format. Okay, uh, you can also even add uh, tables, uh, images, uh, so if you like. So just as a demo purposes, so I, I just add those very two very simple uh, two paragraphs. So one is the interpretation of this dashboard. Another one is that the data source and also the author information. And then I'm going to put that one uh, beneath uh, this uh, bar chart. OK. Um, all right. So uh, let's also keep saving our dashboard. Uh, so that's pretty much about our uh, dashboard. Uh, next, we want to add interactivity. So uh, people will, uh, will view our dashboard use digital devices. So people may want to click. Uh, some buttons, or they want to zo they want zoom in the map, zoom out, so that they are they want to fill out the data. Uh, so the best practice is that we want to add uh, interactivities. So first, let's go to the header. Uh, let's say we, we we want allow the user to select a county. So let's add a selector, which will be uh, on header. Uh, we're going to use a category, category uh, selector. And here we say we want to select based on features. Uh, the feature will be from our counties. OK. And uh, we want to sort by the total population. And with descending, so now you can see uh, the feature will be like the counties. OK, so you can select, they can select any single county. Um, and then let's go to the uh, selectors. Uh, so here we can see do you want allow people to uh, select multiple values or single values? Uh, do you allow user to type to search a county? Uh, do you allow the reset options? And do you allow the non options? Uh, so let's enable all of them uh, because sometimes I think those are very, very uh, helpful. 
All right. Uh, next, we are going to define the actions. So, which means that when people uh, made those selections and what uh, will happen. Okay. Uh, so let's say we want first we want apply this filter uh, to our map and also to our bar chart. Okay. So we want to see if a people select a county, we want to show the population of that county. Uh, we also want to zoom in to that county as well. Okay, so let's zoom in to that county. And uh, I think that's pretty much about this uh, selector. Um, I, I think you can also uh, give a name uh, of this uh, selector, which is here, label. So let's say uh, select a county. Okay, so user we all know that okay, so this they can select a county from this selector. All right, so let's click down. Uh, so right now you can see by default uh, no counties are being selected. Uh, so let's say we select Fairfax County. You can see what will happen is that we are zooming to this county. Uh, we are also we are show the population of Fairfax. Uh, if you reset, we are see all the uh, uh, all the counties, and you can also do the search. Let's see, Harrisonburg. So we can also select Harrisonburg. So now we are looking at Harrisonburg city, and now we are also looking at the the population of the Harrisonburg. All right. Uh, we can also add actions on the map. So if we go to the configure of the map, uh, let's go to the the map uh, actions. And let's also enable the filter. So here we want to say, okay, so when we zoom into different counties, we also want to change the value for the number of people being injured and also the value uh, for the number of people being killed. Okay, uh, we also want to update our uh, bar chart. So let's choose those three charts in this uh, map action filter. Okay. So now let's see what will happen. So now if we uh, zoom into uh, those counties, you can see now we are looking at the the injuries and also killed people that in the current view. And also we are also looking at the counties uh, on the bar chart in the current view. So if we zoom into, let's say, Harrisonburg. Okay, so now we can see we are looking at the Rockingham County and also Harrisonburg. Um, we can also select Fairfax. So now if we only look at Fairfax, and we can see we have four people being injured and also killed. And also we can see the population of the Fairfax. Uh, if we reset, so now we go back to our uh, uh, initial dashboard. Uh, you can also allow user to reset the dashboard by clicking this button as well. All right, uh, so I think that is our uh, dashboard. Uh, so we can save the dashboard here. So our... Uh, and also you can share this URL. So, but before you uh, share that URL, so let's go back to our content. Uh, so let's refresh. Uh, so here you can see the dashboard is right here. Uh, so we have the data, we have the map, and we have the dashboard. However, uh, the dashboard is not public. Okay, so the map and also the data are public, but the dashboard is not public, so let's make that to be public and save. So if you want people to view your dashboard, you have to make sure that the data, the map, and also the app are all public. So all three items must be public. Otherwise, people will not be able to view your dashboard. OK. Uh, so now let's open the dashboard. So this will be the URL of your dashboard. Okay, uh, so I highly recommend that you view this dashboard in the uh, private mode of your browser. So uh, I'm going to use Firefox. Uh, so if you can view your dashboard in this private mode, uh, you can test out your the functions if they are working very well. Uh, so now you can share your dashboard with other people.